How do you take your tea? If you're like most Southerners, probably sweet and iced. But enjoying it hot isn't a difficult transition, especially when served as part of afternoon tea, an event that has all the elements of Southern hospitality. Melissa Bowman takes us to a tea party at the Smith Birdhouse. If Queen Victoria were alive today, she'd feel right at home in Prattville, Alabama, because she'd have a place to take afternoon tea, the Smith Birdhouse. We offer uh, an, an experience, um, afternoon tea, which is almost a lost art. Um, but you know, in our busy, hectic, crazy life that we all are you know, living these days, it's nice to just have a place where people can come and just kind of... <sighs> This place is a dream come true for husband and wife Beth and David Melling. They enjoyed visiting tea rooms on their travels and often wondered if they could ever run one themselves. We took a leap of faith and, and started this at the bottom of the economy in 2008. Um, and we joked, it's like, well, there's only one direction to go. That's up. Their risk paid off. Today, the tea room draws customers from both near and far. Part of the attraction is visiting the historic Smith Birdhouse, which was built in the same era that afternoon tea was born. We wanted to find a Victorian home um, because we thought that would be really authentic and you know, just creating the ambiance and atmosphere that we wanted. Afternoon tea began when Anna, Duchess of Bedford, felt the need for refreshments in the gap between lunch and late English dinner. It's endured because who doesn't love a good snack? Of course, the star of the show is the tea, and the Mellings offer an endless variety of black, green, herbal, and decaffeinated teas, all served in a fancy presentation. But don't worry, there's no dress code. If you'd like to dress up and have the hat and the gloves and, and go all out, by all means, go ahead. If you want to come casual and enjoy tea, please come. Afternoon tea is rooted in British traditions, but when you think about it, what could be more Southern? It's spending time with good friends while eating good food and drinking good tea. And getting the hang of it is as easy as one, two, three. We usually put our scones on the bottom because they come right out of the oven, so they're still warm. And then um, the middle tier, we put our little finger sandwiches on, so there's a little assortment and then um, we usually do two or three desserts on the top. The Mellings serve British standards like cucumber sandwiches, but also add their own American twist. Guests are encouraged to take their time and enjoy every bite and sip. They have created a space here that doesn't exist anywhere else where I can come here, try amazing teas and not be rushed. It's not just come in, get your tea and leave. It is a whole, relaxing drink tea experience. In making their dream a reality, the Mellings have exposed people to a unique culinary tradition, and that warms their hearts like a nice cup of tea. That's how it's just been from day one, is sharing our passion with others for what we do, and enjoy them acquiring and enjoying the aspect of tea. For Simply Southern, I'm Melissa Bowman. The Mellings say women are the majority of their clientele. However, they've noticed more men warming up to the concept, especially after they come in with their wife or daughter. They say men are mostly concerned about portions, and since it's kind of a dainty presentation, they think they're gonna need a burger afterward. But they're pleasantly surprised at how full they get. I can identify with that. The Smith's Bird House also offers tea tastings and scone making classes. Plus, the tea room can be reserved for private events. The Mellings even operate a bed and breakfast at the home, so to learn more, visit smithbirdhouse.com. Right after this quick break, we have a brand new rural roundup for you, and we'll show you how our partners at the Alabama Cooperative Extension System are getting fresh produce to people who live in areas classified as food deserts. What you doing? Oh, I'm just finishing up this claim for Rachel. Huh, what's Rachel doing? We've got you covered. 
Get discounts on national brands and at local businesses with your Alpha Farmers membership. Members save hundreds with Ford, John Deere, Case IH, and Caterpillar. Plus, enjoy special rates at Choice and Wyndham Hotels. Benefits include rewards at Office Depot, Priester's Pecans, tourism destinations, and more. Download the Alpha Perks app, visit alphafarmers.org slash perks, or stop by your local Alpha office and start saving today. I'm Wallace Jury from Greensboro, Alabama, and I'm proud to be Alabama's 2023 Catfish Farmer of the Year. I've been doing this for a long time because your family deserves a healthy, sustainable product that everyone can enjoy. Thank you for supporting American farmers like me by choosing U.S. farm-raised catfish. Find your new favorite recipe at uscatfish.com. Soybean is a very versatile product. We make crayons out of it. A lot of the combines you see rolling through the fields have a lot of plastic side panels that are made from a soy product. The soybeans that we grow on our farm mostly goes into chicken feed. Soybean production in Alabama employs over 10,000 people. We grow some of the best soybeans in the world. We go the extra mile to make sure when our name is stamped on it, we know it's the best product we can produce. Hey y'all, I'm Kim Earwood with Alabama Ag in the Classroom. Today, we're talking about the Alabama Cooperative Extension System. Also known as Extension or ACES, its mission is to build relationships with Alabama residents through agricultural programs. Every county has an extension office. They distribute research-based educational materials. County and regional extension agents focus on subjects like horticulture and livestock. Extension is supported through Auburn University and Alabama A&M. For more information about Extension, visit aces.edu. And for more ag education resources, visit alabamaaitc.org. This Rural Dictionary is brought to you by Alabama Ag in the Classroom. See you next time.